There are literally dozens of disinfectants that are available in the commercial market. Some of them are marketed to animal care facilities, veterinary hospitals, and many are marketed towards human health facilities. You want to pick a disinfectant on the advice of your veterinarian who will take into consideration the stall surfaces, what kind of infectious agents you're going to want to try to kill on those surfaces, and the properties of the disinfectant and how safe they're used to how safe they are to use around people and animals. Many people love bleach. And bleach is a brilliant disinfectant, except it does not work well on non-porous surfaces, and as soon as it hits organic matter, it becomes readily inactivated. Even though you've just scrubbed and used a detergent to clean your stalls, there's still going to be organic matter in the cracks and crevices between the, the wood slats in the corners around the drain. They're just heavy, they're hard to disinfect, they're hard to clean. Um, there's other disinfectants and there's a majority of different types on the market that are labeled for use in animal facilities and have been tested against uh, equine pathogens such as influenza, rotavirus, salmonella, etc. So those are some of the considerations that you need to take into effect. Temperature also has a major bearing on how well a disinfectant will actually kill the viruses and bacteria that you'd, you would like to eliminate. Some disinfectants don't work well in cold weather um, and they work better in warm weather. So there's many different types of things that you need to take into consideration. Be sure to read a label, be sure that it's an EPA certified uh, chemical and talk to your veterinarian about the use of these chemicals in your stalls. One of the most important things to do before you start handling a disinfectant is to put on personal protective equipment like nitrile gloves, not latex gloves, but nitrile or plastic gloves, and also eye protection. And always before using any disinfectant, be sure you read and understand the label, the safety precautions, and first aid uh, procedures should something happen where it splashes up into someone's eye or gets on people's skin. You'll want to be sure that you follow the manufacturer's instructions on diluting the disinfectant. Most of the disinfectants that I've worked with are about a half ounce per gallon of water. Those you want to measure and dilute according to the manufacturer's instructions. You can use a, a garden sprayer for large surfaces. You know, a hand sprayer can also work if that's all you've got. And you want to just spray and saturate the surfaces that you want to disinfect. Again, you start from the top, work your way down from the corners of the stalls to the central drain. Then you can just leave that surface to dry because it's the contact time between the disinfectant and the surface that allows that disinfectant to work and actually kill the pathogens that are still on that surface. Another concern that many people have is the reality of life is there are dirt floors, there are packed clay floors, there are sand floors that are used in stalls. Obviously those are very porous surfaces. The best you can do is to remove as much organic matter, manure, urine, uh, discharges, and obviously all the bedding from those stalls. And to make sure they get very dry. Sometimes you'll put some barn lime down. If you're in a real humid atmosphere, you might need to put some fans on those stalls so that the, the drying effects of just getting that soil dry can sometimes help with some of the organisms that will be killed by simply by drying. Trying to use a disinfectant on soil doesn't work. It doesn't work in a stall. It's dangerous to use out in a pasture. Sometimes people think, ask about disinfecting pastures. Well, if you kill salmonella and horse manure in a pasture, which will be hard to do, you're also going to kill all of the soil organisms that help the grass grow and help keep the soil healthy. So that's a challenge uh, that you have in, in trying to uh, work with natural uh, soil-based stalls. Rubber mats, asphalt, concrete flooring, uh, those are other types of surfaces that are easier to clean and disinfect because they are non-porous. Mm -hmm.